Uh, Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to Hopeful Elect. I'm going to start off with this is Hosea 4 and 1. It says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord Yahweh hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Heavenly Father in the land. And that land is talking about today, which is America. Because here you have on the screen here, you have Michelle Obama on the right hand, and you have Dwayne Wade. This is going to be kind of a hard video to do. I had to watch this video multiple times just to kind of get through doing this. <clears throat> but you on the left, you have, I don't know his real son's name, but this is Dwayne Wade's son that's now going by the name of Zia Wade. So now he's put off being called a young man, and now he's considering himself a young woman. So I'm going to just play the video, and we're just going to go through it. But that's the, there is no truth of the Heavenly Father because a man is not supposed to consider himself a woman, nor is a woman supposed to consider herself a man. It tells you that in the scriptures. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good. I'm so nervous. But how are you? Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union's daughter couldn't help but be a little starstruck when meeting one of her idols. Mind you, this, this young man was born... A man and now they're because he wants to be a woman he's calling consider himself a young woman now this is why the scriptures say in jeremiah the 10th chapter i believe it's the fifth verse it says learn not the way of the heathen us as israelites are not supposed to conduct ourselves in this matter nor have our kids learn the ways of the heathen we are better than this the scriptures tell us that we are above all nations of the earth we're not supposed to conduct ourselves in this manner zaya wade fanned out over michelle obama this week when the pair teamed up for a virtual uh, Salaki, even when you listen to his mannerisms now and now, even the way he acts, he doesn't act like a young man. He's acting like a woman. He's talking like a woman now. He's dressing like a woman, like you're going to see in the video. Not about the former first lady's best-selling memoir <coughs> is coming. And the team admitted she was nervous. To... He has the apparel of a woman. And this is America that likes to say, God bless America and things like that. Well, let's, since you say that you abide by the laws of the scriptures, and let's see what the scriptures say about a man wearing a woman's apparel and a woman wearing a man's apparel. This is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do that, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy power. And as you can see right there in the video, he's wearing a skirt. And even later on in the video, you're going to see he has long hair, which is also a shame. A man is not supposed to, it's a, scriptures say it's a shameful thing for a man to have long hair like a woman. But yet here in America, they say, oh, God bless America, you know, uh, we follow the laws of the Bible, but yet you're allowing people to be, you know, dressed like, you're allowing young men to dress like women and young women to dress like men. Now they have this new thing where uh, when the baby's being born, you can't tell the baby what it is. You're, it, the baby could be... Uh, I think it could be whatever sex it wants to be or something to, along that lines. And it's like the baby was just born. How are you going to tell the child what it wants to be? Realize such a long-standing dream of hers was coming true. What's going on? Oh. Tell me what's on your mind. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like nervous, but really excited. Don't oh. be nervous. It's like <laughs> I'm meeting an idol. I'm literally meeting an idol. But like. <laughs> preparing for this moment for so long. 13 year old Zaya asked Michelle what advice she has for young people who want to follow her example of pursuing their dreams with inspiring confidence. And Michelle confessed that she thinks Zaya is the one delivering an important message of empowerment. I mean, I, you, you know, I am just so proud of you, you know, being just an amazing role model and embracing. And this is why it says in Habakkuk, the uh, second chapter in the fifth verse, it says, though he transgressed by wine, how is he transgressed, or what is the transgression? Uh, transgression of the law is a break, um, transgression is breaking the law of the scriptures. And that wine is his philosophies, is this ways that the so-called, uh, the so-called white man, the elites put up, uh, push out on the world for people to follow. So that's his transgression by wine. That's why the scripture is saying, um, it's Proverbs, the seventh chapter, it likens wisdom unto, uh, I mean, uh, philosophies unto a woman. 
and it says uh, later on in the chapter it says her feet go down to hell, her uh, her steps take on on uh, take on hell, um, take on to hell. Roughly paraphrasing, meaning that what these philosophies, these ways that are not of the scriptures, that are not of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, lead you to death and lead you to error. Or truth, right? Um, your your you're, you're already doing this, so maybe this is for some other young people that are listening. Um, I feel but let me just say, it, it, it does take time to know what your self is, you know, for young people. So my first piece of advice. And that's a damn lying contradiction, because like I said earlier, they're already starting where from the time a baby's born, you can't tell. The parents can't tell what the sex is of the child. You can't say if it's a boy, hey, it's a boy. No, they say, what if it's a girl, you know, or what if it's unisex? I believe it is. So already that shows you that you parents out there, these children aren't your children. The government's showing that we have control of your children. We're going to tell you what we want your kids to be, which is this this vibration, this wicker vibration that the elites are pushing out. That's the transgressing transgressing by wine, bringing out these different philosophies and having people and the world in a messed up state. Be patient with yourself. You know, number one, um, you know, at your age, or in the teenage years and probably through your 20s, you're going to be experimenting with so many versions of yourself, right? All young people are trying on different versions, different voices. They're, they're learning more about their intellect. They're learning about what they love, what they're good at, what they like. This is the period of exploration, right? And, so and I'm going to just end it with this because this video is like really disgusting me, but... Uh, this is Romans chapter 1, verse 24. And this is why the scriptures tell you, put on the whole arm of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. This truth keeps us and is like an armor and a shield so that we don't fall into these traps and these different philosophies that this devil has put out there in the world. So like I said, this is Romans chapter 1 and verse 24. Where should I start at? Yeah, I'm going to start at... Uh, 24 uh it's romans 1 and 24 it says wherefore the most high also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves so yes when you go against the heavenly father the heavenly father gives you over to these demonic forces that make you and turn you into uh making you think that you want to be a uh, a woman wants to be a man or a man wants to be a woman and you start acting that thing out you start saying oh i think god made a mistake no that's demons and the heavenly father has given people over to following those things verse 25 it says who changed the truth of the heavenly father into a lie that's the so-called white man with his philosophies he's put out in this world uh i believe in uh is it Ezekiel? Uh, yes, yeah, Ezekiel the twenty-eight chapter says, "Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so." Esau is that anointed cherub, and the Most High has set him up to be that, and he's covering the earth with his lies. He's covering the truth with his lies, and it says, "And worship the and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator." Right, and when it says worship and uh, worship and serve worship, it doesn't mean bowing down, but mentally you're bowing down to this white man's ways, his philosophies. Uh, and serve the creature more than the creator, right? Because the world is following after the, uh, the creature, which is Esau, and not the creator, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, who is blessed forever, so be true. Uh, verse 26, for this cause the Most High gave them up, gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Likewise, also the men, leaving their natural use of the women, burned in their lust one towards another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error which was meet right so again just reiterating the point the heavenly father when you go against him these are the things that uh these are the demons that he's going to leave you out there uh to take hold on you when you uh, go against the most high you're you're vulnerable to these demonic forces that could then plague your mind and make you think the like I want to be a um, a young man that now wants to uh, be a young woman and is dressing like that, and that goes really back to the father being a weak man, Dwayne Wade allowing. I'm gonna guess because uh, what's the actress name? I think her name is Gabrielle something. That um is uh 
she has a lot of demons on herself. She's been tossed around and thrown around the, uh, in the industry, in the Hollywood industry, if you go into her history and things like that. But that's mostly on Dwayne Wade being a weak man and allowing his son to fall into these traps, which Dwayne Wade is also an Israelite. He's supposed to be following the law, statute, and the commandments of the Heavenly Father to the best of his ability. But, of course, since he's a rich person, he's not going to do that. He's not going to give up his riches <clears throat> for the Most High. But this is what you expose your children to when you don't follow the Bible. Like a brother in my camp always says, Bible means basic instructions before leaving earth. Key word there is basic instructions. These are basic instructions for you to follow. This is not hard. The scriptures say the commandments are not grievous, but people want to make things hard. And there's going to be a recompense for following these ways, which we're entering into or we're already in, but the height of it has not come yet, which is Jacob's trouble. And the Heavenly Father is going to, uh, since, you go after, since you go against the Heavenly Father's ways, he's going to recompense you for that. You, there's, he's called the righteous judge, so he's going to need, you're going to have to pay for that. Like it tells you in Revelations, uh, his reward is with him. He's coming to uh, give everybody a reward that um, is fitting to them, roughly paraphrasing. So if you do good, you're going to get a righteous reward. If you do evil, you're going to get a wicked reward. And that's just. And these that's why this place has to be taken down because you can't even raise a kid in this world and let the kid be a kid. You're trying to force this philosophy, these, these, these disgusting ways on our children. Like I said, again, this is why scriptures say, learn not the way of the heathen. This is why we have to be separate, holy, to be apart, set apart from these heathens. And we're supposed to have our own laws because Esau is a profane person. He's not sacred. He's just going to, he's just a disgusting individual, man. And this is why Yahweh has to come back quick and destroy this man's power structure and destroy his, uh, his ways. So that way the, um, the righteous laws can be put on the earth. But I pray that this was edifying to somebody. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahusha, Ba'ashem Rechak And uh, matter of fact, hold on. Salaki, uh, my bad. I didn't mean to end it that quick. But um, one more thing, just so you know how the truth is going forth. If you look at the comments here, my bad. For, I didn't mean to end it. I just want to, uh, I actually want to bring this out as well. Uh, one person says, stay strong, Israel. It says, welcome to Babylon the Great. <coughs> Uh, one also here, it says, this is nonsense, terrible parenting, terrible parenting, parenting, right, and it goes back to the fathers. It says, uh, one is J Motivate, it says, don't let these celebrities influence your common sense. Like I said earlier, basic instructions before leaving earth. We need more masculine and less flamboyant agendas. And this is not going to stop, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> it says, this is so sad, a little boy that thinks... Um, he is a girl it's like calling day night and night day can't change what god created this whole world is sad right and you know so people know like again going back that this is babylon the great aka america so now i'm gonna end it off giving all praise honor and glory to you shalom